Recently, in previous video, we discussed about the slope of a line, and there we learned that uh, if we have a line, uh, let let's say let's say this is our line, and if this line L is making angle let's say theta with the positive x-axis, then that time this angle made with the positive x-axis, right, in the uh, anticlockwise direction, is called the inclination of that uh, of that line L, and tan of the inclination tan of the inclination is called slope of that line and we represent slope by the m all right these things we had learned in the previous video now in this video we're going to learn the angle between two lines angle between two lines and if you know the slopes of the two lines all right how you can find out the angle between the two lines that we're going to discuss here all right uh, for that uh, let me let me first uh, tell you something like if I have this line and if I have this another line then always when you put two line intersects there is a formation of four angles and there will be two types of the angles four angles like uh, this one this one this one and this one and two types of the angle I shared uh, two types of the angle means one type will be acute angle this 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 both vertically opposite uh, equal angles are uh, acute angle while another set will be uh, obtuse angle whenever whenever two line intersect there is formation of four angles and there will be uh, two types of the angles one sheet will be acute angles and another sheet will be obtuse angle all right except the condition when the two lines intersect perpendicularly each other except this condition so uh, now here we are going to find out that uh, find out the way or the formula or you can say the derivation of the formula we're going to do uh, if we know the if we know the uh, slope of the two lines then how can we find out the angle between them all right for that i need to draw a small figure uh, let me let me draw here uh, here let's say this is our x axis this is our y axis this is our first line l1 and this is our second line l1 l2 all right uh, let me imagine line l1 is making angle uh, theta 1 and the line L2 is making an uh, angle theta 2 with the positive x-axis in the anti-clockwise direction. All right. And the angle between them, now the angle between two lines, this L1 and L2, uh, there are two types of the angles formed, you know. These two are equal. These are acute angle. Let's say this is uh, alpha. And uh, another type of the angle we have, uh, that is obtuse angle. Uh, let's say this angle is phi, okay. This is phi. Now, uh, as we have learned, the slope of the line, slope of line L1, the first line L1, is actually the tan of the inclination, right? Tan of the inclination. And inclination of this line L1 is theta 1. So it will be tan theta 1. And that, let, let's assume that is M1, right? Similarly here, slope of the line L2. Slope of line L2 will be the inclination of the tan of the inclination of the angle and L2 has the inclination of theta 2 so let me say this is tan theta 2 which is equal with m2 now uh, if you see we have two types of the angle between this L1 and L2 one is this uh, acute angle and another is obtuse angle all right so uh, let's walk one by one case one case one uh, when uh, when angle is obtuse when angle is obtuse when angle is obtuse, I'm talking about this one. When angle is obtuse, let me show you something here. Uh, in the triangle, you know, the sum of the two internal angle is equal with one external angle. All right. This we had already learned in our early level of geometry. Sum of the two internal angles is equal with the opposite external angle. I mean, if this is 30 degree and if this is 40 degree, then this must be 70 degree. So in the same concept, if you see, <coughs> uh, sum of this angle and this angle must be equal with this angle all right but we don't know this angle how much is this the complete this is a straight line and a straight line makes 180 degree and if this is theta 1 so this must be 180 minus theta 1 all right so we got this angle also we got this angle also so with the same concept now our phi you know this phi is going to be the sum of this one and this one that is theta 2 plus 180 minus theta 1 so phi is going to be now 180 minus theta 1 plus theta 2 and this phi will be now equal with 180 minus theta 1 minus theta 2 if I'm taking the bracket okay 
I'm doing this step by step. It may be uh, very lengthy so that you can understand. Uh, though it's lengthy, uh, I'm just trying to make you understood, right? So don't worry that. And now I'm taking both sides tangent, all right? So now tan phi is equal with now tan 180 minus theta 1 minus theta 2, all right? And this is complete here. And now let me remind you one thing. What you had learned in trigonometry that tan 180 minus A is equal with minus tan A. All right. So here tan 180 minus this this whole will work here as some angle. All right. So let me say this is A. All right. So that time what I will write that tan phi is equal with minus tan theta 1 minus theta 2. Okay. Now. Uh, again, what we had learned in uh, trigonometry that tan A minus B is equal with tan A minus tan B divided by 1 plus tan A times tan B. Alright, so here uh, this theta 1 will be working as a, a and theta 2 will be working as a B. So what I can write that tan phi is equal with now... Uh, minus is here all right uh, minus is here and after that this tan theta 1 minus tan theta 2 divided by 1 plus tan theta 1 times tan theta 2 so finally what I get that tan phi is equal with uh, I'm putting this minus and then instead of tan theta 1 what we have learned that tan theta 1 is m1 and tan theta 2 is m2 so now this tan theta 1 I can write m1 and this tan theta 2 I can write m2 divided by now 1 plus this m1 times m2 so this is how I find out the angle right our angle now theta is equal with uh, tan inverse minus m1 over uh, minus m2 1 plus m1 times m2 all right so we can take it in the negative so this is our angle between the two two lines when the uh, when the two lines uh, has the obtuse angle in the case of obtuse angle but angle may be the maybe the acute angle like this alpha all right so in the case of alpha case 2 i'm writing here now case 2 when angle is when angle is acute again uh, look at this figure if this is alpha then this will be also alpha because vertically opposite angles are equal and again uh, the concept of triangle I'm going to use it here all right see here uh, like this the sum of the two internal angles should be equal with external angle so sum of this alpha and this theta 2 will be equal with theta 1 all right so uh, what I can write alpha plus theta 2 is equal with theta 1 all right sum of two internal angles of the triangle should be equal with external one so now my alpha is going to equal with theta 1 minus theta 2 so further what i'm going to do i'm going to take the tan uh, both side again so tan alpha will be equal with now tan uh, theta 1 minus theta 2 and we have already solved tan theta 1 minus theta 2 and finally what we are get after solving this m1 minus m2 over 1 plus m1 m2 so what I'm getting here tan alpha is now equal with uh, m1 minus m2 over 1 plus m1 times m2 so again our alpha is going to be now tan inverse m1 minus m2 over 1 plus m1 times m2 all right so when our angle is acute we get positive and when our angle is uh, obtuse we get uh, negative all right so overall what we can say that the angle you know uh, the angle angle between two lines uh, let's say anything it is like say theta is actually tan inverse of tan inverse of plus minus m1 minus m2 over 1 plus m1 times m2 all right here this plus minus represent the two types of the angles may be acute or may be obtuse okay now after this uh, let's learn some special cases uh, in a special case 
uh, first case let's say when 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 two lines when two lines are parallel if two lines are parallel then the angle between the two lines will be zero all right so that time our tan zero all right is going to be now uh, m1 minus m2 over 1 plus m1 times m2 so see what it's going to be tan zero right uh, means I'm, I mean to say the two lines are parallel right so angle will be angle between these two lines is zero all right because they are never going to intersect so whenever they are never going to intersect means there is no angle at all the angle is zero so that's why I took here zero so tan zero is actually zero and it is m1 minus m2 over 1 plus m1 times m2 now this whole quantity is going to only by zero so what you'll get you'll get zero equals to m1 minus m2 from here what do we get that m1 equals to m2 so whenever the slope of the lines of the two lines has the same slope if the if the slopes are equal then we can say the lines are parallel all right and another case uh, uh, condition of uh, uh, perpendicular okay so when when angle theta equals to 90 degree if they have 90 degree then what will happen then that time it will be tan 90 degree equals to m1 minus m2 divided by 1 plus uh, m1 times m2 now let me tell you here actually tan 90 uh, is it uh, is can uh, you know we we would we don't have the fixed value we have some undefined value you know we cannot determine the value of tan 90 because it is sine 90 over cos 90 sine 90 is actually 1 and cos 90 is equals to 0 this is undetermined value all right generally we represent by this infinity sign so now see here what I want to say like uh, something you know uh, something x over 0 is infinity so uh, x over infinity I can write like 0 right I can write like this so the same thing I'm doing here uh, this this value is going to gi give you some uh, infinite value you know so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna write here 1 plus m1 times m2 I'm exchanging this actually um, putting this here and tan 90 I'm taking down so it will now m1 minus m2 minus m2 divided by tan 90 all right so x over this value is going to be 0 now this I'm gonna write 0 here because this is m1 minus m2 over this infinity we represent by the infinity but it's actually some undetermined value we cannot determine the value of tan 90 all right so this is going to be 0 now so from here what I can write 1 is equal with now minus m1 times m2 so uh, so simply what we can say that if the product of the uh, of the product of the slopes is minus 1 then that time the both lines are perpendicular okay this is the case of perpendicular